Commitment 2024 coverage voters in a local state house race are being hit with text messages that actually claim a Democratic candidate is really conservative. But are those messages true and who's behind them? We get the facts from Western News political reporter Greg Fox. Tom Keene is a Democrat running for the state house district 35 seat in a special election. The seat became available when Republican Fred Hawkins resigned to accept the presidency at a state college. Keene is up against Republican Osceola County School Board member Erica Booth. Keene's insurance plan means your family pays more, so beachfront millionaires pay less. And when the big one hits, Keene's plan sticks us with the bill. We've already debunked this ad attacking Keene from the Republican Party as false or misleading. But now Keene is being attacked on a different front, voter cell phone text messages. This one reads, Tom Keene and his fake progressive values. It claims Keene supports elements of the don't say gay law and more money to law enforcement without any oversight or reform of their discriminatory values. Another text wants you to support real progressives like Bernie Sanders and Democrats like former lawmaker Carlos Guillermo Smith and Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer while branding Keen a fake progressive who wants to make friends with MAGA Republicans. Let's get the facts. The claims in the text messages are false. In fact, these text messages that attempt to portray Tom Keen as a conservative is headed up by a Republican in what appears to be an effort to mislead voters. This is the man behind the committee, Austin Hearst, where on his LinkedIn page, he claims to own Hearst Media. State corporate records show the address of Hearst Media to be the same as for the Florida Committee for Progressive Values on the state's elections website, where Hearst is listed as the chairman and treasurer for the political committee that was formed just last month. Campaign finance records indicate the committee has raised and spent nothing. So while we don't know who may be paying for the text message campaign, voter registration records indicate Hearst is a Republican. Keen tells West 2 News, quote, these attacks are not only baseless, but are also a clear sign of desperation. As a candidate committed to the principles of honesty, integrity, and transparency, I find these tactics deeply concerning and contrary to the values we uphold in our democratic society. The special election in State House 35 between Tom Keen and Erica Booth is next Tuesday. With Get the Facts, I'm Greg Fox. And West Shoe News reached out to the email address and phone number for Erica Booth listed with the Division of Elections, but we did not yet get a response. Austin Hurst did return our messages and said that he was not answering questions about his political committee or the text messages about Keene at this time.